Neil, what are some of the ins and outs of a photojournalistic shoot? Uh, the in is, and the plus is, is the opportunity to hang out. It's something that, uh, you know, it's, it's an excuse to hang out. You, you couldn't walk up to a stranger on the street and just start a conversation. But if you're carrying a camera, if you're a journalist, you can say, I work for so-and-so or I'm doing this, and all of a sudden it becomes okay. And uh, so the idea of, of being able to travel a lot, go around the world, see different cultures, uh, hang out with people who are important and have great ideas, visionaries, if you know, if you will, uh, is one of the major pluses of it. And and the opportunity to, to uh, share what you see and and be able to teach others about the things that you've experienced and that you see. The out is uh, related because. Uh, traveling to a country where you don't speak their language, uh, hitting the ground knowing that you have to hit the ground running, but yet you know you, there are things to tend to. You've got to have a fixer, uh, to, you know that, that's going to take you around, that's going to watch your back, keep you safe, and uh, uh, the idea that that you're really in a sense you're flying blind mm -hmm. and. Uh, Looking for the, what's meaningful, what makes sense, uh, a, a story that's relevant and timely, uh, can be stressful. You long hours, 16-hour days, seven days a week for five, six weeks at a time. Wow. So yeah, it can be exhausting. Do you have any other tips for really reaching in and getting those emotions that you're looking for from your subjects? Spending time with a subject, uh, looking for commonly held interests and values. Uh, I'll frequently start a conversation if I'm in a person's room, I'll look at what's on the wall. I, I, there's an example, maybe there's a photograph of a sailboat and I ask them if they sail. And uh, if the answer is yes, I give them, uh, you know, I'll start talking about sailing. I've done a lot of sailing. And so I'll, I'll look for common, common interests that we can discuss even before I start taking pictures so that there's a conversation that's taking place before I ever put a camera to my eye. Uh, and I'll also work myself into a room if it's a group of strangers or something. I'll work my way in. I'll start out as sort of the fly on the wall. I'll stand in the corner. I'll take establishing photographs, and then work myself into the situation where um, I'm more present and a little more in their face. At which point, uh, by that time, I'm sort of part of the scene, and and they tend to ignore me. Neil, any technical tips or tricks you'd like to pass along as far as getting better images? When everybody was shooting film and people would ask me a question, you know, what can I do technically, I would tell them to read the inside of the film box. That's about everything you need to know. And read your camera manual, and that's the other thing that you need to know. Technically, it's not that difficult. There's only half a dozen things to know. And ISO sensitivity, aperture, and, and, sh and shutter speed those are really the only three things that you need to know, and you know, make sure you're it's in focus. And today, with the automation of cameras, even the technical aspects kind of go away. So for me, the technical aspects of taking great photographs is being sensitive, being alive, being curious, uh, being passionate about it, uh, and having uh, uh, a sense of anticipation and timing as what's going to happen. And, and being ready for it when it does happen. And how do you fuel that passion? And how do you get ready for that shot? To fuel the passion, I think maybe that's something you're sort of born with. I'm not sure you're gonna learn it. You have to be curious. You have to be curious about life and about other people's lives. And uh, uh, you have to be curious about why things are the way they are and then want to discover those things and look for those things. Uh, and then take that into the field and apply it to what you're seeing. There's a difference between seeing and looking. Some people just look and they, and they, they you know, that's a, uh, that's a door and there are these strange people going in and out of that door. The end, and they turn and walk away. Other people look at that door and they're curious. They want to, they want to see what's in the door and what's actually happening. Uh, Winston Churchill said some people stumble over the truth and get up and just walk on.
without ever noticing what that truth is. And I think that we need to stop and take time and, and want to know what that truth is and look for it. Neil, thanks for joining us and for giving us an inside look into your world of photography. You're welcome. It's been a pleasure to, be, to uh, talk with you. Thank you. You bet. Be sure to subscribe to our blog now to stay updated on my show. And we'll give you tips and insight to keep advancing your photography. Also, check out our guests' website for a closer look at their work. Tune in to our next episode of Advancing Your Photography for an inside look at another photographer's world. Until then, this is Mark Silver reminding you to get out and capture your own images of life.